The prophet said, if you don't say a prayer, shaitan, he'll round himself around your penis and he will do boom, boom to your wife. Actually, if you have my book, Sex and Allah, you will see a Muslim guy who opened the door on his wife and he found a fire in her bushes. What bushes we are talking about? Her pubic area. What the heck? The sheikh, he answered him, this is because she is having sex with the genie. Remember, genie are made from fire. So now be careful. If you are a Muslim woman and you have sex with the genie, your bushes is going to cut in fire. You better shave it. Or get a fire distinguish. The sheikh, instead of saying to him, obviously your wife is horny and obviously you are not doing your job, so she is playing with herself. What he said to him? She is having sex with the genie. Genie. If you don't believe me, you can go right now to Google and search sex with genie. That's what the Muslim believe. And the funny is that this genie is invisible. And he round himself around the penis. Is he a duct tape? What do you mean he round himself? Like so when you do sex with your wife, the whole genie go inside? Not his penis. And not only that, Muhammad, he claimed that they can have babies from you. And the Muslim, he speak about logic. And the same Muslim who speak about logic, he believed that shaitan, he have a penis in his right leg, right thigh, and he have a vagina in the left thigh. Logic. How do you want to answer that? Because, well, if Allah, he kicked out on only one shaitan from heaven, how we have all of those shaitans? The Muslim, they have to come to a story or to find a solution, so they come to an idea, well, you know what? Shaitan, he have a penis, and he have a vagina, and he lay eggs. If you don't believe me, I can show you the reference. So how shaitan, he have sex? He shake his legs. And by doing that, yankahu hada bidak, he f this by that, and the Muslim, they say to you, by the way, the word nikah mean what marriage? But shaitan now doing nikah to who? To himself. He's effing himself. This is how Muslims, they try to use logic. When they want, they are logical. When they want only. Is it logical that your penis will be endless and your wife is next to you? How you, are, how you are going to have sex with her? I hope that your wife, she is so good in hiking. She will spend her eternity just hiking your penis to reach the top. And as long as it's endless, that will be endless hiking, so she will never reach the top. How much them speaking about logic? What I can say? A Muhammadan who believed that Allah, he sent the school of Harry Potter to open a school of black magic in the Babylon. And what is the purpose of this school? To make man and wife fight and get divorced, brother. Like, what the heck? Allah, he opened a school like this, brother? Yes, brother. What? Uh, look, look how fast the Muslim they change the topic. From everything I said, he he changed now. He says, You lied about the Quran. Insulin is not made from pork. Read. You lied about the Quran and pork. It's forbidden for us only the flesh of the pork to be eaten. It's okay to use the fat and the pig for insulin. <coughs> a, a, a potato. I want you to show me the reference that you can eat the fat of the pig. Go ahead. Can you? Do you follow the Quran or do you follow something else? The Quran says to you, forbidden for you is pigs. He did not say some of it. He said pigs. In the top of that, how you are forbidden to grow pigs, but you are going to use the fat of the pigs. 
I hope you are not talking about your wife. Because if you are forbidden to have them, to touch them, to be in your town, how you are going to use their insulin? Ah, we go to the Christians, the Hindus, the Buddhists. If they have pigs, we ask them for some fat, brother. What a potato you are. In the top of that, by the way, Muhammad, he said, everything is forbidden for you. There is no benefit from it. Is that correct? Everything is forbidden for you. There is no benefit from it. Period. Let us show the hadith. And as long the pigs is forbidden, Muhammad, he made it clear that there is nothing, no cure can come to you from pigs. And this is the reference. Do you see it? In different hadith, Muhammad, he says, he made for you for every illness, a cure. So don't use what is forbidden for a cure. And as you see, this is Sahih. So you cannot play the game and say, this is not. Another thing, the Muslim, they forbid eating pork. And now we know why which is wrong, but they allow you to drink camel urine. But isn't it the Old Testament forbid the camel? How Muhammad, he claimed that he is following the steps of Moses. He allowed to eat the camel, and he not only that, he encouraged them to drink his piss. This is different hadith, it says. <clears throat> Messenger of Allah saying, he sent down, Allah, he sent down both the disease and the cure. And he has appointed a cure for every disease. So treat yourself medically, but use nothing and law for. Do you see it? Now I'm waiting for you to show me where it's lawful to use pigs. Are you there, Abdul? Any Abdul? <clears throat> you lie, you lie. La 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 la. La 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 la. Any Abdul? Are we out of them? <clears throat> and here we go. I just found you the fatwa. And this is Ibn Baz. He says, وَأَمَّا الْخِنْزِيرُ فَقَدْ أَجْمَعَتُ الْأُمَّةَ عَلَى تَحْرِيمْ جَمِيعَ أَجَزَائِهِ it is forbidden totally, all the part of the pig, to use in any way. And you are a potato. Google translation, peace be upon him. You know, when the Muslims, uh, they are desperately trying to find a solution for the poopoo of their prophet, uh, and they cannot find, you know, 
a solution so we have to lie in order to cover up his stupidity pork there's oil even steel making involved pork can you believe it chocolate leather stitches insulin and Muhammad he made it clear that you cannot use any part of pigs as a cure did we save the reference guys let me give you the reference for this one in case you care to have reference And you know, I encourage Muslims to make videos about how to dip a fly inside the dish. Remember, Muhammad he said, anything is not forbidden for you, there's a cure in it. Anything have forbidden for you has no cure in it. Fly is not forbidden for Muslim to eat. So they can buy shish kebab fly. I challenge you to tell me that you cannot eat it. Show me the reference. Look what it says here. Muhammad said that if a fly fell down, uh, this is about Muslims have a lot of, uh, here we go. If a fly fell in your vessel, one of you, let him dip it. Science. I challenge Muslim to make videos and bring a bunch of flies, not only one. I mean, make a soup of a flies. Just uh, mix very well the flies inside the soup and drink it. What do you think? And by the way, look at this here. Ali, may Allah be pleased with him, used to give people thick grape juice into which fly would falls and not be able to get out again. Is that to eat it, Muslims? Are you hunting flies or what? Well, the if hadith is accepted hadith. That's why it's there. You see, the, the, the stupidity of the Muhammadan is they don't know that the if hadith is a the if argument. Go and watch Sheikh Hamza. He said the argument of the if hadith, a weak hadith, is a weak argument. If this hadith is not accepted, it's not going to be there. The if did not flunk. It's not a junk. It's accepted. I mean, look at the stupid religion. If this hadith is bad, why you put it in the book then? Oh boy. You see, it's fine to be ignorant, but not about your belief. You see, ignorance is part of our nature. We are, all of us, we have a form of ignorance. If you ask me about India, I know nothing about it. This is ignorance. But this is not my belief. So it's a shame that those people, they claim that they have a religion and they want to defend their religion and they try to defend their religion by lying to us, using our ignorance against us. Because most of us, or maybe all of us, we do not know. You go to the church, what the priest he says to you, today we will read John, okay. Tomorrow we will read Mark, okay. But he never asks, answer you. They never let you ask questions. We have Jehovah's Witnesses, we have Mormonism, we have atheism, we have whatever liberalism, we have allism, we have Islamism, all, all the madness. And our priest is doing what? 
is just so good and reading for you a chapter from the Bible. He do not want to answer anything. Why? Because he is not serious. He's not a true believer. He's just doing business. He don't want to give it time from his time. He want to go home. But thanks to the Lord, we made a revolutionary. And a person like me, who is nobody, I have my books translated to all languages in the world almost. From Chinese to Indian languages, to Albanian, to Croatian, to Russian, to you name it. German, Portuguese, it's a Spanish. This is what happens when you are a true believer. And a true believer does not mean I'm better than you. I'm a sinner and maybe more sinner than you. But a true believer is someone who works hard against himself when he is sinner and serving the Lord when he is not. Uh, <clears throat> if Dr. Tashkil would like to speak to me, I can open Skype for you, Dr. Tashkil. Do you want to talk to me? Just let me know, and I will open Skype just for you, just specifically for you. I mean, your name is Dr. You can speak to us, especially your name is Tashkil. We can ask you about some Tashkil in the Quran. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think we have enough for today. And uh, let us see how many. Did Jesus eat pork? I don't know. And did Muhammad eat pork? I challenge you to prove to me that Muhammad never ate pork. You see, the Muslims disclaim things which is absolutely false. As an example, they say to you that in order to be a Muslim, you have to be circumcised. Well, Muhammad never circumcised. Never. Show me where he, show me how he was circumcised. Never. They claim they don't eat pork. Show me where Muhammad never ate pork. In fact, Muslim, they used to eat pork and Muslim, they used to drink and that's why the Quran forbid it. Your prophet, even he eat poo-poo. Isn't it piss is a form of poo-poo, but it's liquid one? And you, who is the person who claimed that you don't eat pork, but then we find a prophet who jump with dead dogs and women blood from period and garbage in the water. And then he put that in his mouth. When you do ablution, is it true that you have to put water inside your mouth? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Is it true that you have to put it even in your nose? Yes or no? The answer is yes. So how a water have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage going inside your mouth and you claim you don't eat pork? And why you Muslim don't follow the steps of your prophet? Why we don't see Muslims in YouTube making videos of them doing ablution with water have dead dogs and women of blood from period and garbage? And look, the garbage is not just a garbage. It says it's stinking things, which means it's already in the bye-bye garbage. Because like in America, if you see the American garbage, you will see how clean it is. Seriously. But this is a stinking garbage, which means it is exposed to germs and bacteria for a long time. Do you see? This is your Muslim translation. Stinking things are thrown there. What is it throwing there? Stinking things, not just garbage. Do you see it, Abdul? And then they come to you and says, we don't eat pork, brother. Haram!